The world of medicine continually evolves, often bringing to light groundbreaking therapies that were once the stuff of science fiction. One such advancement that's garnering significant attention is a new stem cell therapy for diabetics. This development, stemming from years of meticulous research and clinical trials, promises to revolutionize how we approach a disease that affects millions worldwide. Diabetes, particularly type 1 diabetes, is a condition where the body fails to produce enough insulin due to the immune system mistakenly attacking and destroying insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The traditional treatment has involved a lifetime of blood sugar monitoring and insulin injections. However, the latest therapy proposes a more enduring solution, targeting the root cause of the ailment, rather than just managing its symptoms. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. The journey towards this innovative therapy began with the fundamental understanding of stem cells. Stem cells are the body's raw materials, the cells from which all other cells with specialized functions are generated. Researchers realized that if they could harness these cells to produce insulin, they could theoretically replace the damaged cells in diabetic patients. One of the most significant studies that have brought this concept closer to reality was conducted by a team of researchers at a leading university. Their study focused on differentiating pluripotent stem cells into insulin-producing cells. Pluripotent stem cells are remarkable because they can transform into almost any type of cell in the body. By directing these cells to become pancreatic beta cells, the ones that produce insulin, researchers could potentially restore normal insulin production in diabetic patients. The study proceeded in several stages. First, the team successfully transformed pluripotent stem cells into insulin-producing cells in the lab. The next phase involved testing these cells in animal models. Remarkably, when these cells were transplanted into diabetic mice, they functioned similarly to normal beta cells, producing insulin in response to blood sugar levels. This was a monumental step, demonstrating the viability of the concept. But moving from animal models to human therapy isn't straightforward. The challenges are substantial, ranging from ensuring that these cells survive and function properly in the human body, to preventing the immune system from attacking these new cells. The latter is especially critical in type 1 diabetes, where the immune system's role in destroying beta cells is a fundamental aspect of the disease. To address this, researchers have been exploring various methods. One approach is encapsulation, where the stem cell-derived beta cells are enclosed in a protective barrier before being implanted. This barrier allows insulin to pass out into the body while shielding the cells from the immune system. Another approach involves gene editing techniques like CRISPR to make these cells less visible to the immune system. Human trials for these stem cell therapies are in various stages. Some early phase trials have shown promising results, with patients experiencing improved blood sugar control and in some cases, reduced need for insulin injections. However, these trials are rigorous and time-consuming, as safety is a paramount concern. Every new therapy carries potential risks, and it's crucial to thoroughly understand these before the treatment can be widely available. One heartening aspect of these trials is the emphasis on the quality of life for diabetic patients. Diabetes management is often burdensome, with constant monitoring and the fear of complications like heart disease, kidney failure, and vision problems. By potentially offering a more permanent solution, stem cell therapy could significantly reduce this burden. However, as with any emerging medical therapy, there are hurdles and concerns. The cost of such treatments is one significant factor. Developing and administering stem cell therapies is an intricate and costly process. While the price may decrease as the technology matures and becomes more widespread, initial treatments are likely to be expensive, potentially limiting accessibility. Ethical considerations also play a role in the conversation around stem cell research and therapy. While the field has shifted significantly towards the use of pluripotent stem cells, which can be derived from adult cells, ethical debates continue to shape the research landscape and public perception. Another concern is the risk of the cells differentiating improperly or growing uncontrollably, leading to tumors. While no such cases have been reported in the trials so far, it remains a theoretical risk that researchers are diligently monitoring. Despite these challenges, the future of stem cell therapy for diabetes looks bright. The ongoing research and trials are continually refining the techniques and approaches, improving safety and efficacy. In parallel, 
Their significant research on automating and optimizing the production of these insulin-producing cells, which could address both the cost and supply issues in the future. It's also worth noting that this therapy is not limited to just diabetes. The success of these techniques could pave the way for treating a variety of diseases where cell loss or dysfunction is a factor. This includes neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease, heart disease, and even certain types of blindness. However, as promising as this therapy is, it's important to temper expectations with a dose of reality. The most sobering aspect, perhaps, is that we're still some years away from this treatment being widely available. Even once approved, it'll likely be reserved initially for patients who have severe diabetes or who have trouble managing their disease with existing treatments. Moreover, while stem cell therapy could significantly improve the lives of many diabetics, it's not a cure in the traditional sense. Patients may still need to monitor their blood sugar and maintain a healthy lifestyle. The therapy aims to provide better control over the disease, reducing the risk of complications and the intensity of daily management, rather than completely eradicating the condition. When considering a new promising therapy for diabetes, it's crucial to approach it with a well-informed and comprehensive plan. Here are the top two things to do when exploring a new promising therapy for diabetes. Consult with healthcare professionals and specialists. The first and most crucial step is to consult with your healthcare team. Discuss your interest in the new therapy and seek their guidance. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific diabetes type, medical history, and current treatment regimen. If the therapy is experimental, they can help you weigh the potential benefits against the risks and assess whether it is suitable for you. Monitor and adapt. Once you and your healthcare team decide to explore the new promising therapy, it's essential to closely monitor its effects and be prepared to adapt as needed. Regular follow-up is crucial for ensuring that the therapy continues to meet your diabetes management goals. In conclusion, the development of stem cell therapy for diabetes marks a significant leap forward in medical science. It holds the promise of transforming the lives of millions of people, offering a semblance of normalcy that was previously unattainable. While challenges and hurdles remain, the progress made thus far is a beacon of hope, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance in the face of chronic illness. As research continues and these therapies evolve, we stand on the cusp of a new era in diabetes treatment, one that moves beyond managing symptoms to addressing the underlying causes of this pervasive disease.